the 96th Miss America will be crowned Sunday night in Atlantic City. And you can see the excitement right here on ABC7 starting at 9 p.m. You'll also see some very familiar faces hosting. You may remember Chris Harrison, of course, from The Bachelor and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And also ESPN's Sage Steele. And we are lucky that they are both going to join us today. Hi, guys. Thanks for checking in. Good morning, how you doing? Thank you. Hello, okay, I have to start by commenting, Chris, that most every guy in America must be jealous of your job. You hang out with The Bachelor contestants and now Miss America hopefuls. How did you manage to pull this off? I don't know, but don't don't ruin this for me. Don't tell anybody because yeah, apparently I need to be around 25 or more beautiful women at all times. And I will be honest, I am not angry about it at all. It's a terrible life that he leads, I know. <laughs> And he gets to sit next to you, Sage. So, you know, he's having a pretty good run here. Tell us a little bit about the behind the scenes. I mean, bury the lead, yeah. That's been going on all week long. Uh, what have we not seen yet? Okay, so the, it really is crazy. So Boardwalk Hall is this huge cavernous arena. So they move in this crazy stage, build the stage, because there has to be a competition that happens all week. The preliminaries are happening. So Miss America has started, and it's actually going on. While that's happening, we're preparing for a two-hour live network event. That'll be the culmination of Miss America on Sunday night. So there's a competition going, and then choreography, staging, and preparing for a live event. So it, it is madness around Boardwalk Hall for weeks heading up to Sunday night. It's, it's a wild ride. And then once we get on the air... It's like being shot out of a cannon. It's live TV at its best. So, so this is my first year, and, and he's supposed to be making me feel more comfortable and at ease and feel better, and he's failing miserably because I get <laughs> more nervous every time he says it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he just compared to what you're going to do Sunday night is being shot out of a live can, Sage. So I don't know what you have to be nervous about, right? <laughs> pretty but, much. All right, I want some but here's scoop. But here's the thing. Sage, Sage is like me. We, we both love sports. We both love live TV. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. That's, that's the adrenaline rush. It's a sickness, I think. Yeah. And, and actually, yeah, I need it, too. It'll be great. And you know what? We all have that sickness here, too, so we can appreciate this. But tell us a little bit about <laughs> the contestants, because obviously you're seeing it all unfold. They come across so poised and so perfect and so beautiful. What's going on behind the scenes? Do we have, like, stress and disaster and fighting? Something good. Give me some dish. I, I hope you're going to give the answer I think you're going to give about when they go back and I mean oh, it's, there's stuff flying. It's wild I mean, because here's the thing. I haven't seen it. On stage in front of the camera they are in their evening gown <laughs> and it's very poised and they're elegant and then we say break and then they have two minutes to run backstage it's like a hundred yards away they're like Usain Bolt you know <laughs> 10 second you know 100 yard dash they got to change and then get back on stage perfect and look elegant. And the same thing happens for the talent competition. They sprint, they got to go get their batons or, you know, get ready to play piano or whatever. And they get right back on stage. Literally, as they're five, four, three, and they're about to go on the air, they're walking on stage and then they may have to step up in front of millions of people and perform. The poise and confidence and elegance of these women is way underrated. Sage, you're looking nervous again. It just is like an NBA game. You know, they'll be running around, they'll be sweating, they'll be fine. You'll be right yeah. at home. <laughs> I just, again, find it inter interesting that Chris finds himself in the middle of it. And, you know, during the commercial breaks when, I mean, we got Spanx, we've got all kinds of things tucked in and tape and makeup, and he's just very comfortable with this. There's a reason yeah. why he keeps coming back. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's great. Well, Chris, you've made a career seeing beautiful women stress and try to put it together, and you just are the charm that holds it all together. So we are looking forward to it all. Before we wrap up here, why do you think the Miss America pageant still has the appeal that it has had for 96 years? Why does America love this so much? Because it is the real article. It is part of America. It is one of the most iconic titles you can hold and one of the most iconic TV shows that we've all watched since we were kids. And it's always been about empowering women. And it's always been about scholarship and, and furthering women's goals. And while maybe that's not as important today, thankfully, we've come a long way in 96 years. But as the father of a daughter, and, you know, Sage has kids, too, it's still something to look up to and be honored and to celebrate. And I'm glad that we still do that. And I'm glad the Miss America organization is very different from other organizations in the way they hold themselves and conduct their business. And, and real quickly, I mean, sometimes people uh, talk about alleged controversies and, oh, the bikini and this and that. Are we, are we just showcasing these women? I say 
it is phenomenal, and, and why not? There's a reason why it's been around for 96 years. But again, as parents of daughters in particular, um, they're, they're role models for my kids with, yes, the way they look certainly and take care of themselves, their bodies, they're healthy. Number one, that healthy body image is so key for us parents with daughters. Um, but number two, to represent their cities, their states, our country uh, with the poise and grace and, and giving back. To me, it's, it's, it's an honor to be up there with young women like this. And I think people need to focus on that. Absolutely. You can never have enough positive role models. All right. Well, thank you both for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you Sunday night, live television at its best, 9 p.m. And of course, that'll be right here on ABC7. We'll see you then. And speaking of beautiful, it's time for our makeover reveal.